my presentation is much, much easier than Professor Huang. It's just two things that you have when preserved, it means in the museum, go to the products and to our daily life. So he should do both because as you see just now, that is very important because this, uh, you see the, the pronio, uh, Indonesian jungle is one of the largest jungle in the world too. That's why uh, two or three years back, I talked to Professor Yaki that we have to do something because uh, one of the plants in Taiwan that is so famous for the liver, already 100,000 or 200,000 Taiwan dollars to a small block of wood. Uh, I think Dara have been uh, see that. Whole jungle, you can see how many uh, treasure inside that and all the bread every day, we take it for granted. But for example, now the weather is getting worse and worse, all the paddy peel are gone. You have nothing, no food to eat. So what should you do? You use all the scientific uh, equipment, laboratory to test which plant is suitable for human to eat. It takes so many years, you already start to that. But if you go Aboriginal people or the uh, jungle man, we can learn from them and then they tell you maybe you can eat ubikayu or other things. So it's so important that we should learn to preserve and promote all this. Then only we know what to do, which one can we eat. For example, the nasi, if it, the rice is washed too clean, then it will be lack of vitamin D. So just like Zamu, if you go too far away to become to the lab, then you may be not the Zamu anymore. So uh, you must add another vitamin B into the rice again. So similarly, we need the laboratory to help us. For example, the Zamu, the plant that you planted in Sumatra or Java or Sulawesi, the ingredient will be different. So which Zamu is the best? for different disease. So that's why we need Professor Huang to come in to help to test. And then we say that, I study some, uh, said that Zamu can be treat uh, cancer too. But how we can prove to the patient? So we need the laboratory test. But first of all, before all this test, the uh, traditional medicine. The every day we eat makanasi, lama, and it's very treasured because only after thousands and thousands of years ago, then you know from the jungle which group can be eat, which cannot be eat. So it's important. And also to the plant is more important because you say now I want an anti cancer or against the AIDS. I go to the jungle and find which tree. So difficult. But if we uh, learn from our indigenous knowledge, what we need is to go to the lab, then we are confident to eat and to give it to our patient. So this is our traditional uh, knowledge. We got the GDP, maybe 16% of GDP go to the healthcare, and yet uh, have this uh, good care. They have the uh, conclusion of the lifestyle. Just now, Professor Wang said that the institution is more important than curing of the diabetes or the cancer. The traditional healing knowledge, the like Jammu, is another kind of Nutrition. We eat a lot every day, but we may not eat the correct thing. We eat rice and other things, but we may still lack of important nutrition that are inside the jamu and different kind of jamu. So this is the important thing of this, that the modern medicine cannot cure. And for new, the Chinese medicine, important nutrition that can cure your disease. So I think the jamu also the same thing. Just like you only can eat bread, you cannot eat nasi that we cannot uh, uh, agree with that. So we have to develop our own nasi to take bread. Of course, sometimes we also uh, delicious to take bread. There are still 30% of the population modern medicine. Even in any Aboriginal people, their life expectancy is not getting better. In Taiwan, also the same. That our uh, races, our genetic is more suitable to our own medicine. That if you use only Western medicine, you cannot cut people because too expensive. For example, in Taiwan, uh, many of us take Chinese medicines, which much cheaper insurance. You can cover more people, integrated medicine. 
Why? We think uh, the medicine is the best already, but still they need is teaching the, in the East-West integration professor from the cardiologist, neurologist, or Nordic also the same. So we know that there are many things that cannot be treated by Western medicine again alone. The cupping is very famous. I mean, you know, a certain part, or Jammu, maybe a certain part, Aboriginal people, may be part. So it's so happy that uh, many of you come from different islands. So many different but we only know part of our medicine. So we must, as are not necessarily against each other, we can use a complement of both not only the Kung Chinese Kung Fu, but also the African Kung Fu, everything. So I integrate all this to become a new acupuncture system. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my way integrating every kind, different kind of uh, medicine to become a new acupuncture system that I put inside my clinic. You see, after the Western come to our Asia and kill of us, we become lost confidence in our own uh, medicines, your traditional medicine. You see, the Chinese also, in the previous time, they eat try kind of herbs and then which one is good for the health and they have the encyclopedia so that you can learn up from there. You can see that Traditional medicine is not all of it. You can see the for uh, traditional Chinese medicine, very, very big hospital for traditional Chinese medicine. So in the future, in Indonesia, we must have such hospital, such city for Jammu. This is your problem. <laughs> so I'm happy from the website that clarity and self-confidence not good enough because when you go up by the encyclopedia, Jarry uh, told me that interpret from Zawi, Malayu, and then English, then you can let the world know better about our Jammu. So you can see that there are many people, many different races have their own herbs, but many of them only in the history, but only, for example, Chinese, still using the traditional Chinese medicine, but you can see that Japan, Korea, and China, China may be the same because all original from China, or need a certain change. And for the Austronesian, that from uh, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, even to uh, Solomon, and you can see that Jammu is over here, still eat every day by our Indonesian people. It's alive. So it's very important because this is not something in the still keep alive must have the vision to become of Jammu or Indone uh, uh, Austronesian center because it's keep alive. And you can see the is so large. So the center for the Austronesian traditional medicine because my language is the same, the Malay language. Like Taiwan, the Aboriginal people, they say Sipat, just like Malay, Bahasa Melayu, Empat. Ruma, they say Ruma. So quite a similar language, Austronesian. So we have in that mission central, uh, I think all of you uh, will have the same vision, I hope, in the future. In uh, Professor Huang, uh, a few years back, agriculture and uh, I thank him very much because he helped me a lot to uh, make my dream come true. <laughs> So a lot of these big, big machines need to come, but he cannot come here. But he promised to help if we need it, because uh, in a Professor Huang place, they can uh, analyze from the herbs, the diet, and also the different activity. And also after this, so many different compounds, each one you want to do study is a lot of time. By simulation, it will be, have better effect. Which one? have the chances to become a product. So you can save a lot of time. And the study, and also and he is uh, promising uh, when you started. I hope is that in the future we have uh, used Jammu. Because in this way, we can help more people. We got energy. After washing with the water, very fast. Yeah, try to find one, yeah. So after the acupuncture, he also can walk. And this one is uh, after the cancer with metastasis to the uh, thoracic spine, and the patient need the MRI, but he's now. 
So they consult me to do acupuncture. No? So that it can take the MRI. So Western medicine complement. Traditional one also can help the Western medicine. This one is after the tumor of the spinal cord. And after the operation of the tumor, the doctor said you have to be on wheelchair for the whole life. This one is 16 years old. So I do acupuncture and after a few times you can see she can walk by herself. And this one after the nerve transplantation, still cannot raise the hand. So I do acupuncture and can throw so far away and can grow dark hair. So this is very important. Just now I talk about the traditional Chinese medicine, the encyclopedia. When we talk about medical encyclopedia, advanced encyclopedia, so I think we are much better than them. So we must have our own Jammu encyclopedia. Not only the Jammu, but also many other tribes in the world, other Sulawesi, etc., that have very, very precious uh, knowledge that we must run against them down to be their, their knowledge so that they won't lose away or we call it internship, or the housemanship, that uh, is the Western healthcare system. Just like uh, Jarrah is about thinking about the dangers of uh, certain herbs. That's why the Western and uh, Professor Wong can help. Crisis. My own is that East West is not enough. So, if, for example, the Chinese usually treat, for example, your hiti, then you have a plant that can cool down. So similarly, you use the Chinese uh, diagnosis and analysis, but use the local plant that you can have the HIT and use the Western uh, lab to make sure that your thing is safe. Then it's the East-West native integrated medicine to become a real global medicine. So I think what we know in the Western or the Chinese medicine is only part like the elephant. So we need to do integration of the east native become a future global medicine. For example, in Chinese medicine, we have a different organ system that's saying that the lung and the bladder are integrated. If the lung got problem, the bladder will treat it. To the Western trained doctors, it's ridiculous. But when you have low back pain, the low back pain is belong to the uh, bladder meridian. You have massage over here, the lung meridian then your low back pain will go away. But you go and research all the world. You are smoking the air pollution. What cancer you will have? Lung cancer. What other cancer you have? Bladder cancer. Can the Western medicine explain why this happened? But the Chinese medicine already tell you that the lung and the bladder are interrelated. So there is a new medicine that we can learn from our ancestors to find out a real new medicine. But the Chinese and the Western is not enough. We need East-West native, the Jammu and knowledge come in. And then also the Jammu, we must also further go, what is the diagnosis of our Jammu healer? How they diagnose and how they prescribe? What are their logical thinking? Then only we can have a better, uh, have to figure out through big data how they, they make the diagnosis. So you can see that the little jungles, but they have very large jungles which can help you a lot. So we must integrate growth, then we can have a better treatment for our people. So you can see that the knowledge are disappearing. So like our Indonesian, many traditional medicine, the knowledge are disappearing. And it's very happy that we still have you all that are interested and willing to preserve them. So, we can still take in the Jammu as their traditional way. After all, it's still safe. Or we can do in the products also. I went to Kelantan because I'm born in Kelantan. Uh, so I go to Kelantan with a little I go to the kampung kampung there and help the people. And then there's uh, one uh, ibu that teach me in the backyard, there are so many plants that can be helped uh, for the patient. So you see, these are only grasses, but to her, it's so precious. Many little plant over there. So even the coconut wrapped with the newspaper, 
we have used for the massage. Yeah. And this is the Taiwan traditional medicine. So this one is good for the pain, but maybe in the future, with the help of Professor Huang, it can develop like a salon pass. Yeah, much easier to use. Yeah. So you can see that we have a explainer in the Taiwan area to teach you a different plan in the area that you usually miss in your daily life, uh, how they work and can help. And also, now the day the weather is getting uh, worse and worse, and how to survive. We have a lot of television show, a survival uh, game. And then you can see the Aboriginal people are too much better. For different this my, my daughter, they learn uh, how to capture the snake, how to capture the rabbit, all different. So we must have a, a, some sort of like a, a training program for them. So this is our tradition and see all the, the area around, so many treasure. And this, they, they come to Professor Huang University and they have a, so many of these students are doing the Jammu. And say that every year of one, they have this, take that, yeah, they bring that. And traditional is equivalent to all of it can be very fashion too. So like acupuncture, it can be the acupuncture point become very fashion. So it can including the most modern technology. For example, we think that acupuncture is out of date, but very ancient. But to me, if you want to fly to another planet, just like NASA, just find out seven more Earth like how many panel you are going to take with you inside the cabinet, not enough to space for you. But with one needle, that can be reused. It can fly 20 years, 100 years, also no problem. So traditional medicine can be the future medicine too. So you can uh, do the encyclopedia in the future. And then this is uh, the nature product that we'll talk about the uh, potential risk management and how all these structures and also uh, which one, the interaction, Western medicine, and how we're going to uh, risk management of this Jammu. Then, in the future, when we are talking to our patient, that Jammu is very good, how we are going to act with that. So, I just uh, report to you a simple concept that I have in mind, and I hope that in the future, we have a Jammu encyclopedia.